Alright. Iron Man 2. You know, that's a special review for me. I'm home from school right now. You could probably say my voice and I have laryngitis, but... Uh, this is a special review for me because I've been on YouTube so long now that I can officially review sequels to movies that I've already reviewed. So I've reviewed the entire Iron Man series so far. I think that's pretty cool. Now the movie... It's awesome. Come on, of course it's It's freaking Iron Man 2. How could it not be awesome? I remember I gave the original one an 8. I don't know what I was on. That movie's a 10. It really is. That's a fantastic film, and, and I don't know why I, I gave it an 8. I think I was a little bit, a lot hard on it when I, uh, when I first reviewed it. I love that movie. I love that original. And, you know, a lot of people are making big complaints about, oh, this movie's not as good as the last one. Of course it's not as good as the last one, you dumbass. It, it, you know, it... Even The Godfather 2 wasn't as good as Godfather 1. That doesn't mean it's a bad movie. You know, it's like, that's what I'm afraid it's going to happen when the next Batman movie comes out. People are going to say, well, it's not as good as the last one. Of course it isn't. You know, if you write a masterpiece, you can't write two in a row. You know, and so I, I just expected something good. Is it? It's not as effective as the first one. It doesn't have the emotional... Uh, dramatic impact that some of the scenes in the original one did, but it's a very fun movie. Look at how far comic book movies have come. If this had come out uh, five years ago, people would have been blown away because it's it's smart and it really it's it's smart is the best word to describe it. And the performances are all great. Sam Rockwell is just hysterical in this movie. He's such a dick, but at the same time, he steals the show. Robert Downey Jr., I'd watch him in anything. I'd watch him read the phone book, seriously. He's, he's made probably my favorite actor on the planet right now. Everybody's great. Don Cheadle's good. I still prefer Terrence Howard a lot more. Uh, people, I think people are kidding themselves into believing that he's just a better choice. Terrence Howard was perfect. Uh, and I, I like Cheadle, but not a lot. I think that, uh, I think Howard was perfect for the role, and I wish they could have kept him. But I'm trying to keep this review short. Overall, this movie's awesome. It really is. The only complaints I have, it runs a little bit slow in the middle, and uh, it's got some pretty hokey parts, and, and and it's just not as effective. But at the same time, it's a blast, really. It's a t fun movie to watch, and it's a, it's a fitting sequel to a great movie, and uh, I hope the series continues with one more and they can finish it out with a strong ending. My overall rating, I give Iron Man 2 9 stars out of 10. 9 out of 10. So, go see it now. I'll see you guys later. Wish me well.